Before we discuss the use of hose pipe in leveling, let's define the term leveling. So what's leveling? Leveling is basically the process of determining the height differences between points to establish a stable and uniform foundation for a structure. It involves measuring elevations and deviations from a predetermined reference point to ensure the structure is level and stable. This is crucial for foundations, floors, walls, and other components to be aligned correctly, preventing issues like uneven settling or structural instability. Water levels are a great way to find a level spot on items like walls, posts, or stakes, so you can build structures that are even and correct. It works on the basic scientific principle that water always finds its level. A water level is easy and inexpensive to make, making it perfect for leveling a deck or shed foundation and more accurate than a carpenter's level over long distances. In this tutorial, we are going to look at 1. How to make a homemade water level 2. How to use water level in construction 3. Advantages of using water level 4. Tips for accurate leveling There will be a pro tip at the end, so make sure you watch this video till the end. Making a water level is easy and inexpensive using a few household items like tubing and water. What you'll need 1. Clear plastic tubing, about 10 mm to 15 mm, diameter and 10 to 50 feet long depending on your need. 2. Water. And this other two items which are optional. 3. Food coloring for better visibility. For funnel to help fill the tube. Step 2. Fill the tube with water. Now. Fill the transparent hose pipe with clean water using a funnel until it's almost full. Leave about 10 centimeters of air at both ends to prevent water from spilling out during movement. Remove any air bubbles by lifting and tapping the hose until they disappear. Bubbles can affect accuracy. As an option, you can add food coloring to enhance visibility. Step 3. Seal or hold both ends upright. Hold both ends of the tube vertically. Make sure the open ends are higher than the rest of the tube so the water doesn't spill. Let the water settle until it's still at both ends. How to use water level in construction. Take the two ends of the hose pipe to the two points you want to compare. One person stands at a reference point, a known level, like a benchmark or desired height, and the other goes to the target point. Hold the hose ends vertically and steadily at roughly the same height. Allow the water in both ends to settle completely. There should be no movement or bubbles. The water will automatically level out inside the hose due to gravity. Mark the water level on both sides. The height of the water on the benchmark side becomes your reference elevation. Compare the water level on the other side. Same height equals same elevation. Higher water level equals lower ground. Lower water level equals higher ground. To transfer the same level to another location, keep one end fixed at the reference point and move the other end to a new point. Always wait for the water to stabilize before reading. Continue this process to set multiple level points across a construction site. Common uses of hose pipe leveling. 1. Setting level lines for foundation trenches. 2. Aligning posts and beams. 3. Leveling floors or pavements. 4. Landscaping and garden design. Use of water leveling has a long history in construction dating back to ancient civilizations. Ancient Egyptians utilized water levels for building the pyramids and other structures while the practice also appeared in ancient China and other parts of the world. Today, water levels remain a simple yet effective method for ensuring accurate leveling in various construction and surveying tasks. Advantages of using a hose pipe level 1. Low cost and readily available materials 2. No need for electricity or batteries 3. Works well around corners and obstructions 4. Simple to use with basic training By mastering hose pipe leveling, builders and do-it-yourself alike can perform accurate and reliable elevation checks without expensive equipment. It's a timeless technique that proves how smart solutions don't always require high-tech. Number one, keep the hose pipe vertical to avoid tilting errors. Number two, make sure there are no kinks or knots in the tubing. Kinks and knots can throw off the level and result in an incorrect reading. Slide your hand over the entire length of the tube before you use it so you can be sure there are no kinks or knots. 
A tube that is old or worn may be more prone to knots and kinks, so you may want to replace it over time. Number 3. Empty the water level after each use to prevent air bubbles. Leaving water in the tube for a long period of time can allow air bubbles to form, which can then throw off the water levels in the tube. You should also empty and refill the water level before you use it to ensure the measurements are correct. Number 4. Keep the water level in a shaded, cool spot to prevent liquid expansion. Exposure to heat and direct sunlight can cause the tube to get too hot, causing the liquid to expand once it touches the tube. This can then throw off your water levels and result in an incorrect reading. Store the tube for the water level in a cool spot indoors in your garage or home so it does not overheat. Number 5. Regularly check calibration by bringing both ends of the pipe together. 